At this time, the Atlantic Ocean has been choked. Many hundred containers are standing in the line. All this is waiting for them to cross the 80 km river and go to the Pacific Ocean. This 80 km route is one of the most important shipping routes in our world. It is called Panama Canal. Hello friends, you are watching Fact Galaxy, where we bring you real and heart-touching stories. If you enjoy this story, don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss a new story. About 6% of the world's sea trade passes through this choke point between South America and North America. This canal connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans together. Every year, about 13,000 to 14,000 cargo ships pass through this route. This is the smallest and safest way to connect the American Western Coast with Europe, Africa, and the Middle East. But this canal is now in a very big problem. And if this problem is not solved, it can affect all of us. What happened to this canal, which can be the cause of its destruction? Let's find out the answer to this question in this video. To know the root cause of this problem, we have to go to France 150 years ago, where a man named Ferdinand de Lesseps was becoming very famous all over the world. Ferdinand was a French diplomat who built the Suez Canal in 1869. Because of this, the Red Sea and the Mediterranean Sea were connected to each other from very small routes. Because before that, the ships coming from Asia and the Middle East had to cross all of Africa to go to Europe and America. This was a turning point for world trade. And with this success, Ferdinand decided that he would also make a canal like the Suez Canal and connect the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Because at that time, the ships from America's eastern coastline had to cross all of South America to go to Western South America, Asia, and Western North America. It, it was about 20,000 kilometers away. There was only one way to reduce it, that an artificial canal should be built here in Panama, through which the ship could easily come from the Atlantic to the Pacific, and from the Pacific, and from the Pacific to the Atlantic Ocean. Now, ideally, the simple way to make a way here was to blow all this part with dynamite so that it becomes a place for ships. But in reality, it was not such an easy task because this whole area was very dangerous. There were mountains and dense forests in this whole area and very severe storms used to come. Whenever Ferdinand's engineers used dynamite here, it would have been landsliding and many workers would have been killed. In addition to this, there was another very big problem of yellow fever and malaria. It took eight years to clear all this route and about 20,000 workers were killed. And that is why the Panama Canal is called the world's deadliest construction project in human history. Because of such huge human and financial losses, investors stopped funding this project and in 1890, Ferdinand's company went bankrupt. The work on this project was suspended for about 14 years. Then in 1903, Panama gained independence from Colombia with the support of the United States and in return, the United States took all this land from Panama on a 100-year lease. The American leadership realized that if America wants to grow economically, then the Panama Canal is very important for it. That is why in the next year, 1904, American engineers resumed work on this project. And this time, the American engineers had a great idea. They thought that instead of removing all this land, they would just cut these mountains a little bit from above and fill this area with water. And then by means of locks, ships would be loaded and unloaded here. Locks are actually a system through which ports are made up and down. With the help of these locks, ships could easily go from one ocean to another. 40,000 workers, several hundred tractors, steam engines, and excavators started working on this project. And then 10 years later, on April 15, 1914, the Panama Canal was open for ships. This project was really a masterpiece of engineering. Such great engineering techniques were used that no one had ever thought of. In addition to this, two artificial lakes were also built to fill the water in this canal. 375 million was spent on this project and about 5,000 workers also lost their lives. And due to the sacrifice and planning of these people, this unbelievable project was completed. Today, this canal is the most important financial resource of Panama. 10% of the total revenue of Panama comes from this one canal. According to the data of the Canal Control Authority, the fees from the ships passing through this canal range from $10,000 to $300,000, and in the peak season, this price also doubles. Recently, there was news that a chemical tanker gave $2.5 million to pass through here, because the process of operating these locks is very technical and difficult, 
and for this, along with labor, very skilled engineers and machine operators are also needed. And now we come to the problem that has made the future of the Panama Canal doubtful. Actually, as I told you earlier, that the American engineers did not level this route at all, but only cut the mountains from a little above and made two artificial lakes so that water can be filled in this part. One of these two lakes is Lake Gatton, and the other is Lake Alajuela. And from these lakes, water comes to this canal. After the water comes, the ships are crossed up and down with the help of locks. But one problem in this whole process is that a lot of water is wasted. Now, until it rained a lot in Panama, there was no problem. But since 2016, the weather in Panama has changed a lot due to global warming. Especially in 2019, it was so dry that everyone was scared. And the water level here was so low that it became very difficult for ships to pass through here. And Panama put cargo restrictions on the ships so that their weight is low and they do not drown in low water. And then in September 2023, the Panama government put daily restrictions here that more than 32 ships will not be able to pass through here daily. And as a result, the lines of container ships have been put in front of this canal. Despite this restriction, the problem is not being solved because there is a severe lack of rain. Since 2023, it was the second driest year in Panama. Due to the lack of rain, these lakes are quickly drying up and the difficulties for Panama are increasing. Just recently, the Panama government has announced another project in which another small dam will be built in the west of this canal which will be connected to Lake Gatton from an 8 km underground tunnel so that this water can reach this drying lake. But this plan is still in discussion. And even after approval, according to experts, it will take at least two and a half years to complete it. But in the meantime, there is another practicable route for these ships, and that is the Arctic route. As the weather is getting hotter due to global warming and snow is melting, this route is becoming attractive for ship owners. And that is why many countries are now looking at Greenland on this route. China, Russia, USA, all world superpowers want to take control of Greenland. But the reason for this is not just the shipping route of the Arctic, but Greenland has many treasures hidden inside it that are slowly coming out. Geopolitically and physically, the world is changing and these changes are going to impact all of us very soon. Once again, I request you to subscribe to the channel and share the video with other people so that the reach of our channel increases and we get the motivation to make more such videos. See you in the next video with another interesting topic. Take care of yourself.